What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC gameplay. We're in Manhattan today, and we're doing a viewer request for a high-rise fire in Manhattan. We've already got it called in. Uh, first dude has already gotten there. It says working 1075, so uh, we're going to be responding with uh, three engines, or uh, four engines and three ladders. Uh, one of the engines is going to be a, a squad, squad 28. That's one we're going on, and uh, Rescue 9 is also showing up. So let's go ahead, get everything up and running, and we'll head that way. It's Wednesday, guys. The week is flying by so fast. I can't believe how fast it's going by. Hope you guys are having a great week. And uh, the weekend will be upon us. It's supposed to be snowing in uh, the Texas Panhandle right now, but it doesn't look like it's really done much of anything. Hopefully not. All right, let's get rolling. And heading that way. Nice. Lots of uh, lights and siren action today. And the usual stutters, the Manhattan stutters. It wouldn't be Manhattan if you didn't have that, right? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I just want to stop. Oh, come on. Why are you stopping in the middle of the road? People go. You know, we're just glad to push them. It's not legit, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, so. Let's go out to push them. Get out the way. He's just insistent on going down this road here. Like, he doesn't even care. <laughs> Into the hydrant. Oh, you people just, they, they really ruin it. Yeah, let's get all the school buses out of the way. Kind of true life, really, getting stuck in traffic like that. It's kind of true. Now they're clearing. They're kind of clearing all right on this one. I say that. Hey, right, here we are. We're going to help establish water supply. Does it look like uh, Ladder 75 is going to show up? I think he's, uh, he's probably bugged. I've had problems with that one responding to calls, so... All right. It looks like up there. Ah, oh, yeah, it's going good now. It is for certain. Hop out. Let's get a water supply going. Go over here. Hook you up. And we'll get our hydrant wrench. Are you getting some water on that fire? Drop you down here, and now we need a relay. We'll relay to uh, 49, supply his water for him. Yeah, I don't think 75 is going to show up. I've kind of thought about using, I don't know if I'm going to set up a ladder or not, because I, you know, honestly, I've never had much luck with, like, being able to do anything with them. Why? Up. Oh. Come on, I just need to go a little bit further, guys. Pull. <laughs> Pull it. There we go. Wait, no. Actually, I don't need that to go right there. Never mind. That does not need to go there. We need to go here because we're providing water. Almost goofed that up big time, guys. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I, I don't know. The ladder's like... On that particular fire, I've just had nothing but issues with the ladders. Like, just... Getting up to the window, getting in the window, like everything, like it's just more of a headache than like the benefit you get from it. So, 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll probably just work it from the inside. All right. I think we're good with that. Let's go ahead and get the pump going. Nice. All right. We've got their water going. All right. So now we need to stretch a line to the standpipe, wherever that's at. Got to be one around here somewhere. Uh, not there it is. Okay. We'll run a relay to it. That's why I ran a relay from uh, 28 to 49 because I didn't want to uh, tie up 49's relay. Then I wouldn't have a good way. I guess I could have used an attack line to uh, to get to the standpipe, but I don't know. I'd rather do a relay. Nice. Here we go. Get him up real fast. Get him taken care of on the other end. I have to get a hose pot or a hose pack and carry it upstairs and then we'll set. Now from what I read in the uh, FDNY firefighting manual is that they uh, they get the water supply from the floor below. Didn't say why. Uh, I didn't go into detail as far as to why. I'm assuming it's just a safe, reliable water supply when it's not on the fire floor. So uh, we'll go to the fire. We'll go to the floor below and uh get our supply from there all right let's get our hose pack and i think we're good all right let's do it i think we need to go ahead and charge down here right let's do that real fast or uh yeah charge to the standpipe and all right now we're good oh it's so stuttery got a bit of the stutters All right, so I think it's on the 10th floor, right? It's on the 10th. So it should, like, these floors aren't marked, so it should be the first floor we see with an open door should be the 9th, and then the next one after that would be the 10th. So that's how we're going to do it. It'd be nice if the high-rise, like, if they, if they, at least on the door, told what, uh, what floor it was supposed to be. It would help out a lot. There'd be people trapped as well. I don't know if it said, all right, that should be, this should be nine right here. Right? If my thinking is correct, that would be nine. And this would be 10. I just know that because, yeah, okay. I know that because the, uh, the way you can access the windows and stuff like that. There's nothing accessible below, uh, floor number nine. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, let's, uh, can we? Guy up there. Sweet. All right. We got him hooked up. And let's go back up. Come on. You being a pain. Come on, Lewis. All right. Now, because we're 10 stories up, we're going to have to cheat with the air a little bit. I, I don't want to constantly be running back and forth getting air bottles. So, for uh, air tanks, let's go ahead and. and that's to me this is one of the harder fires because it's so cramped it's like your uh, your view is constantly kind of being jacked with oh yeah pretty good there we're coughing and hacking but we should be all right all right let's hit it with some water start doing it quick knock we're uh we're nine minutes into the video ten minutes so Okay, right, now we're gonna have to do some air. We're starting to take a little damage, so we're gonna do some air now. 10 minutes into the video. Pretty good for me. Getting water on the fire in 10 minutes is pretty good. I did this fire the other day and I drove everything here manually. And of course the fire went out by the time I was ever put, uh, ever able to put water on the fire, so. It's one of those things, it's like the meme you see with the big red button that, you know, you got two choices. And our two choices are drive all the equipment and enjoy that part of it or actually put water on the fire. The dude's sweating though, trying to make a choice. Which one does he want to do? 
Fortunately, we can't do both. That's like, as far as like game experience, of course, you know, the stutters and all that's the biggest deal. Like that, that absolutely needs to be fixed. But um, for me personally, fire persistence needs to be worked on. Like, you know, it, it, it needs to, uh, it needs to burn for a while, you know, until you put water on it. It is so smoky in here. I can't see Jack. Bust those windows out with water supply. They already are. Too bad we can't hydraulically ventilate. That would be awesome. Damn, I can't see anything, guys. Like, I am completely, completely... I can't see. And our air is getting low, and... Yeah, this isn't good at all. It looks like... Is that the... Is exit? I can't tell. Like, I am totally, totally lost. Okay. There we go. Uh, where am I? There. Okay. Here's the hall. Sweet. All right. Let's get out real quick. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Back off. Got to back off for a second. That was bad. Yeah. That that's a hard fire because it's so like the camera is so confined already in the spaces, and then you have the smoke and the flames and stuff, and it just makes it really difficult. Like this is just like game wise, it's just a hard fire to tackle. All right, let's go back in. Looks like smoke's cleared out a little bit there. All right, got some fire in the back there. We're getting it though, we're doing it. Oh yeah, I'm looking through the wall there. Yeah, it'd be cool to be able to hydraulically ventilate. That would be awesome. I, I don't know if that's a mechanic in the game. I'm going to assume not, but I've been wrong a lot of times, so. We'll try it anyway. Oh, we've got a victim. Doggone it. Yep. All right, well, we'll deal with him in a bit. We gotta get the fire out first. I'm only one man. I can only, <laughs> I can only do so much. There we go. That's that window out. Yeah, we still got a lot of fires in here, guys. First, we can't use the ladder. We're not going to employ the ladder this time. We're just going to put waters on the fires. Yeah, okay, let's go back first person. All right, we seem to be doing okay damage-wise, so we're going to roll with it. Roll with it here. Bust these out. They're already busted out. Yeah, it looks to be. Yeah, those are alright. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, dude, I know. It sucks, but, you know, they. It, this is a real thing. They really ate smoke, so. Alright, here's a comment for you guys. When was the uh, first use of, uh, of air in firefighting? I'm sure y'all probably know. That's probably something uh, firefighters have to learn or something, maybe. You go to the academy. If you go to the academy, uh, when is the first? Uh, when was the first use of air of uh, air tanks in firefighting? I'm curious. I I don't know. I could Google that, but I like it when you guys fill me in on that stuff. All right, I think we're good here. I mean, I know it's relatively new. It's it's relatively new because I've heard about them eating smoke like back in the '60s. And I want to say even the '70s too. So. And I'm sure even like after the use of air tanks was, uh, you know, they developed that technology is probably a while before like everyone got that, you know, especially like your, your smaller fire departments and stuff like that. All right. I think we're good, right? I think we got it. We're uh, 15 minutes in. I think we got the fire out. Nice. Yeah, it looks to be good. All right. Let's... Uh, we got a few things we need to do now. We need to, of course, take care of our victim. And we need to check and see if the fire has extended to any other floors. Especially the one above. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't. The fire has, shouldn't have extended. Uh, in modern high-rise technology, I think they just about have fire blocks between the floors and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll double-check it and see what it looks like um 
need to check this other apartment too. We're gonna be all right. It's got a little charring on this side, but I think it's okay. All right, there. All right, let's go upstairs. I'm not dropping the hose because I'll never find it again. If I drop it, I probably won't ever be able to pick it back up. So we're just gonna take it with us. There we've got, doesn't look like we can use that door. And there we go. All right, let's uh, grab this one. Open up. Open. Oh yeah, it did char up here. Wow, okay. It sure did, though it's out. It's out, but it charred it. Oh, and open up. Why are the doors being so finicky today for some reason? Well, it looks like all the fire is put out. I don't hear anything. We're good with that. All right, let's go back down to the fire floor. Good up here. And let's get our guy taken care of. Here's our victim. Okay. All right. Let's go check on him real quick. Let's drop the hose. Yeah, oh, sorry, dude. I didn't mean to kick you. I'm sorry. All right, sir. It's uh, New York Fire Department. Hello. Can you hear me? Come on, open up. He's probably dead. Uh, let's see. Not breathing. Uh, his breaths per minute are zero. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, his pulse is zero. His breaths are zero. All right. We're going to try to bring this guy back, though. Got out there. Oh, that's cool. You can see the uh, the unit out the window there. Cool. Burr's easily amused. <laughs> easily amused and impressed. It doesn't take much. To, uh, to impress me. All right. Let's go get an EMS bag and a backboard. See about getting this guy taken care of. All right, let's grab some Gatorade. Let's get our EMS bag. I said I was going to get a backboard. I'm not going to do that, though. That would be, holy hell, that would be horrible, trying to carry that thing down all those stairs and around those corners and stuff. Uh, same thing for a stretcher, too. Same thing for a stretcher. So what we're going to do is just, uh, we'll go up there and get the guy treated a little bit and then uh, we'll carry him down and get him on the backboard and all that stuff. All right, let's get in here and get this dude treated. All right, sir. We're gonna do, ah, oh, I keep kicking him. I don't mean to do that. All right, what we're gonna do is uh, right now we'll, uh, We'll put him on oxygen and we'll uh we'll start an iv yeah i think that's our plan of action right now so let's do that uh, administer oxygen and uh or iv let's do iv give iv fluids okay we should be good with all that uh maybe can't tell all right let's go ahead and carry him we'll carry him there we go yeah all right he's got all the stuff sweet okay yeah we're going to carry him i it, it's already kind of a little clunky and hard to uh to pull a backboard behind you you know and the stretcher definitely like just going around all these corners and stuff is just it that would be a huge pain it's easier to carry him than to uh try to navigate all this so it's not 100 percent legit but uh you know as i said many many times sometimes you just have to work within the confines of the game so that's what we're doing We'll, uh, we'll get him downstairs. We'll put him on a stretcher. We won't even need a backboard because he shouldn't have had any kind of trauma as far as, uh, you know, broke neck, hurt back, or anything like that. It's, it's like it's just all fire-related injuries. So uh, we'll get him down here, and we'll get him on a stretcher and try to get him stabilized, try to get him brought back and stabilized, and then um, load him up and get him out of here. Come on. All right, which way? Where do we go? Wait, yes, okay. All right, people, clear the way. Got a victim here. We're going to take him to the sidewalk. Put him on the sidewalk, start treating him. Here we go. All right, let's, uh, let's drop him right here. Hopefully he won't bug out. 
Oh, he may have. Ah, there he is. Sweet. <laughs> he kind of threw him. We body slammed him into the ground. Uh, he looks like he may need a backboard now, actually. Uh, he's not doing that great. Okay, let's uh, let's get the ambulance. We'll bring it here. Alright, we're rolling. On our way. Hopefully, people will uh, cooperate and let us get to this guy. Yeah, I think we're going to go this way. Go down this way. Let's uh, keep going. I think one more, right? Here we go. All right, back this way. Nice, we're right here at it. Sweet. Okay. Sweet. We'll have this dude fixed up in just a second. Come on. We'll have him fixed up in just a second. I'd be willing to bet. I'd be willing to bet we'll be able to bring him back alive. Back to life. We bring him back. Nice looking scene though. I like all the uh, equipment here. Let's not run over our line there. All right, let's hop out. Do all the things. Oh, can't see. There we go. Grab stretcher. Oh, other side. Never mind. Let's drop you lower and let's move patients doing the option to move them doesn't look like it maybe maybe we're not close enough There we go. <laughs> Had to throw him down beside the stretcher. Uh, where is that option at? I know it's on here somewhere. Why can't I move the patient to the stretcher? Like, do I have to put him on a backboard? Maybe we do. Let's try it out and see. I could have thought we'd just put him on the stretcher. Maybe not. I could be wrong. We may have to have a backboard because it's not giving me the option to put him on the stretcher. See. Treatments. Uh, backboard. Nice. All right. Now let's see if we can put him on there. Okay. Yeah. All right. You have evidently you have to have a backboard then. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I I could go with that. I mean. I don't see it hurting anything to just use the backboard either way. I mean, I guess so. I guess we had to do a backboard. Well, uh, for chest compressions, there you go, right? For uh, doing CPR and stuff like that, I guess maybe you would need a backboard. Not really sure on that. I know we don't need a C collar because, he, like I said, he hasn't had any kind of neck trauma. So, all right. Um, at this point, we need to. Uh, well, I hear him. He's, uh, let's hook him to the vitals monitor and see what he looks like. Yeah, he's zero. Alright, so. Let's 
Let's start some epi. Let's intubate them. Because the airway is probably closed off from the uh, fire, the heat damage and stuff. Let's intubate them. And uh, let's, can we hook them up to a ventilator? Yes, I think we need a ventilator. Hook the ventilator, there we go. And uh, let's uh, shock them. Let's shock him. Oh, he's bagged. What? I didn't. Uh, I didn't bag him. I I did not do that. Like, why is he bagged? Well, he's dead, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's dead. He didn't make it. Something happened. I don't know, but he's dead. We didn't bring him back. I thought we would because we've done it plenty of times, but he's bagged. He's in a freaking body bag. I don't know what happened with that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the High Rise Fire. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate all your uh, support. If you are new to the channel, as always, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, keep those comments and suggestions going. If I haven't got to your suggestion, you might want to drop it again because sometimes they get buried in a bunch of comments and we've had a ton here lately. So, uh, you know, if I haven't done it, uh, feel free to drop it again. Or if we've done one that you want to see again, uh, just, you know, let me know. We'll do it. That's going to do it for this one. And with all that said, we'll catch you on the streets of Manhattan next time. Peace.